Greetings dear Libra. Thank you so much for joining me for the monthly channeled inspirational reading by Astrological Sign for all Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign Libras for the month of March 2015. This is only a general reading which may or may not really specifically resonate with you. If you would like to order a personal reading so that I can tune into your concerns and your situation to assist you with gaining more clarity personally, please check out my website at www.naturallyhighlife.com. Thank you so much for coming and tuning in and listening. Now on to your reading. This is the very first card that has come up for you and it is showing that you are open. You are open and expanding your awareness you are sometimes being in a place that is not very grounded dear Libra in March you will want to ground yourself to get out in nature and to start perhaps walking some light exercise because you are definitely so tuned into your environment that you may not feel like you're in balance and you may feel as though other people are not able to relate to you in some aspects in certain ways because of the way that your energy is going to be it is showing that you will be in a very contemplative moment several times throughout the month but you will have a wonderful beginning of the month and the clarity and the insights, mostly impressions that will be coming to you, will be things that can help you out throughout the month and especially going through spring as it's just about here at the end of March. I also see your other reading is, or the other card that's coming up is sacrifice. You have had some serious rough times and struggles and you have been building, working, and doing the gathering and giving so much away of yourself as far as time and energy that at times you didn't know over the years how you were going to come back from where you'd been and you didn't even know if you'd be able to recognize yourself some of you even had some identity crisis going on because you really had to shed so many layers of yourself such a spiritual experience Libras have had on various levels it has been it is showing that you're not done giving yet you're still wanting to give to also share your loving energy with others but it's also guarding you here on being too codependent and on expecting other people to do as you do your partner, your co-workers, and people like that are going to be the focus of the month more so than anything. Your family life is very important and you're thinking about the future. You're thinking about how are you going to expand to reach a certain pinnacle that you want to reach. You do often visualize being more than what you are. You are definitely on your way there. You're looking up and seeing that you are definitely rising. Your influence is getting greater and you really have broken free out of a period, especially when Saturn was in Libra. And it really, for some of you, had pulled on you for so long financially that you had to learn to be creative. So sacrifice has really brought you into a place where you have learned how to be even more creative than you naturally are and has made you reach deep, deep within you to pull up all the different skills that you have and to see exactly what is going to work for you. The next card that we have is the Wisdom card. In the Major Arcana card, this card major arcana card this is going to come up as the higher effect card when i do see this card i see that you have definitely you want to go back to school you really want to change your circumstances and you want to be an authority in your field. 
field, I do see that you can gain so much by researching and looking at what other people who are doing what you want to do have done to get to where they are. Not to stop there though, because your direction and way that you go about things will be slightly different, but the tried and true with the sacrifice card is showing up here in that you are someone who is gaining in your popularity and people are looking to you already as someone who is a wise old soul. You are here guided that because people follow you and look up to you to keep yourself from getting all caught up into other people's matters and here because of the energy that is open so much in the self-awareness that is what the lesson is going to be you'll be learning self-awareness you'll be also seeing that people that may not have your best interest at heart will be starting to drop off and this is because the vibrations will not match anymore they will be dropping off you will be rising to a different level it is also showing that you still focus futuristically and seeing how can your career and your schooling what you have taken in school if you've already completed your bachelor master's degree studies or something that you are deeply entrenched in I see research is a huge factor for some of you and as you do that, be sure to give yourself the love that you deserve and keep your vitality up from giving so much. I do see that you have a tendency to give so much where you may become a little sick because you're not giving back to yourself. Do be mindful of that and know that there are some changes coming up in your living space and arrangements and that you will be moving from where you are probably you're probably looking at this and you want to be moved before June I do see that that is definitely a very strong thing that can happen but do your research the next card that's coming here is Archangel Michael's card I am presence when you get this card it is a reminder to you that you are a divine being and that you have the power to change and to make your situation your life what you want it to be it's reminding you that you incarnated to the planet to be a vessel for the divine on the planet and also to expand and to remember that you are a divine being while you're here and the lessons of remembering that on all the different levels that it comes in are to be used as awakenings and help for other people and this happens naturally is something that you do not have to really work hard to do it just naturally happens as people see you living your life and changing and really building and growing the way you, that you are they know some people do know your story that is having such an impact on them but Archangel Michael is going to be available as always. And that is who would be good to call on during this month to gain some clarity and to move forward and to expand and to get through obstructions that may be in your way or that you may feel are in the way of what you want to do and where you're going. If you just want further insight also into what it is to be a divine being into how you should proceed in your studies in your growth and building your family and getting the home that you want call on Archangel Michael to assist you peace love and light to you and this is the very first in the series of the astrological readings by the month and I just wanted to let you know that I appreciate you and thank you for tuning in listening peace love and